Back when I was in seminary school, they put forth the proposition that you could petition the Lord with panic. Petition the Lord with panic? You cannot petition the Lord with panic. Georgia Theater, home to over 40 widespread panic shows back in the early 90s. Panic made their name in Athens, Georgia in the 80s and early 90s. They got their start as the house band at the Uptown Lounge. Back in uh, October of 85, I think, uh, that was the first time they played the Uptown. So I just kind of remember they just loved to play and play. I remember the old Uptown, back then the bar had to close at one and, and the City made you have everybody out by 1.30, and it was like clockwork every Monday. At 1.30, they'd keep playing, and it'd be about 1.40, and I'd have to shut down the power in the whole place. I mean, that's the only way I could get them off stage. Back then, the members of Widespread were John Bell, Dave Schools, Todd Nance, Domingo Ortiz, John Herman, and the late Michael Hauser. In 1998, they decided to hold a CD release concert in the streets of Athens, which became the largest CD release party in U.S. history. It was insane you know it was crazy I had um, his partner here and um, also the, the new Uptown Lounge which was just a bar and it was just um, it was a peaceful crowd I know the, the city officials were freaking out but it was just um, it was just a mass of people all day and all night and you know basically we were just a beer store people were just coming in to you know buy cases of beer as fast as they could you know we just the beer trucks were parked downtown they were just Empty and you know huge trucks of beer and going to get more and it was a uh, you know it's just something everybody still talks about so a one-time event from 1999 to 2001 I documented Panic fans at over 40 shows this is the European tour the film was scored by a fan the pictures were taken by a fan the set lists were logged by a fan and the movie was made by a fan. Well, I'm here at the Paradiso in Amsterdam, and uh, I pulled my camera out a couple times and gotten harassed and almost beat up by the junkies, so being careful. Um, ran into an old friend on the plane flight to, or to Amsterdam from Atlanta. I hadn't seen him in a while. I was here for the shows. Um, then I ran into some heads on the, that were getting off the plane when I got here in the morning yesterday. I ended up hanging out with them for a while. So uh, many people are going to get here uh, at some point here. We'll see. I'll be hanging up by the Paradiso and checking it out. Just flew in from St. Louis to see the panic. Uh, Millennium's approaching here. We're in Amsterdam, and uh, it's about to be widespread, buddy. Just getting wild. We've had some space cakes, hanging out at the coffee shops. <laughs> We're chilling. About to see widespread. Uh, predictions on the set list, I don't know. I haven't been on tour lately, but we're from St. Louis. We're kicking it. My name's Dia. This is like our 50th show. My we, name's Clinton. We are in Amsterdam because first of all, it's our anniversary slash birthday show. We've been married for five years and we're 26. And we from love- From Atlanta? Yeah, we're from Atlanta. And we love Panic just because it's freaky and it's groovy and it's our favorite thing to do. It's our hobby. We fly everywhere to go to see Wadsworth. My name is Chris Corson. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, actually today in Amsterdam, I overheard some people talking about the show. We didn't even know they were playing here tonight. And we were just so fucking stoked that they were down playing tonight. We went out and got tickets. And, uh, so we're here waiting to go in and uh, can't wait. Uh, it's going to be a great show. It's gonna, it only looks like there's going to be like 200 people here. So, And uh, the 
This is my boy Brian, and uh, we've been touring around London backpacking, and we're just so happy to be here, man. Just widespread panics playing in Amsterdam tonight, man. A panic fan is someone who would uh, fly 4,000 miles away from home to go see a band. I think one, that would one be show, a panic. Yeah. One show, that's all we get. Uh, it was damn worth it. it. We ain't even been to the show yet. Amsterdam rocks, you know. It's widespread, dude. It's very uh, electrifying and mystical and abstract, and uh, you gotta really pay attention. So when things come together at the end, you've been working to get to that point, and it's just you just get to these magical moments, man. And it's just you know you can't articulate it in the words. You just you feel awesome. I got to the Central Station feeling a bit hazy after a few days in Amsterdam, but I played through and boarded a train for the red light district of Hamburg. On my way to Hamburg from uh, Amsterdam, last night's show was absolutely amazing. There was about 800 people there, and uh, there was a good show of uh, people from Denmark, and there was a bunch of Germans there. So this show's gonna be tight. We're gonna get there at like seven. I think the show's at 8.30 or nine. Let's see if we can get there. I barely made it there on time, so I stored my backpack at the station and went straight to the groom's barn. In Hamburg, we had to pick up a car and try to make it to the hotel and then make it to the show. Yeah, it was busy. I remember not being able to eat, and after the show, I um, met JB and we had for the first time ever, and it was so much fun, but I had to leave because I had to go find something to eat before everything closed down. <laughs> Let's see what they played in Hamburg. I have a note in here that they had a Buddha that had Mardi Gras beads above it, over its head above the stage, and that the security was really tight. <laughs> After the show, a group of us went to an old deadhead bar, and JoJo and Sonny showed up and had some pints with us. I awoke to a surreal scene amongst new friends I had met the night before, but there was no time for reflection as we all had to scramble for the next train to Hanover. Hanover a couple hours ago, and uh, we're at the gardens now, so we're heading over to the show in a minute. And it's going to be a little smaller than last night, so it's probably going to be better. I ran into a friend who got an email from a friend of mine that she was supposed to look for me. He gave her a description, and she found me, and I ended up staying with him last night and tonight. We walked to the venue, which gave us a chance to tour the famous gardens of Hanover. The venue was in the middle of nowhere, just past the gardens, so after a few hours of walking, we made it to the Bod. It was a tiny beer garden with a huge swimming pool out front. I was in Amsterdam, and I was looking to find some music there about two weeks ago, and I just happened to see that they were going to be playing two weeks later, so I bought a ticket and jumped on their website, found out their tour dates, and here I am three shows later, and all is well. Yeah, this is Hanno from France. Tell me about your panic experience, your first panic show. Uh, Lorelei, last year, Rockfest Festival. Next to the Rhine River in Germany. Just played a short set, but very intensive. Tell me about uh, last night's show. I thought it was a whole lot better than Amsterdam. It was awesome. Yeah, what made the difference? The sound was better as well. And uh, what are you expecting tonight? Uh, I don't know. They fit all the good songs. Is it gonna rain today? 
I don't know and she won't tell me anyway Her face is blue, the sky is gray What's the weather, Mary Kay? Yeah.